the American king is back and he is bigger, stronger, and deadlier than ever. Meet the world's first fifth generation fighter, the F-22 Raptor, which has been updated to become the first sixth generation fighter. Packed with a wide range of technologies that no other country has access to, not even China, Russia, or the US's friends. The Raptor has always been too special to share. And now that it has been updated in the sixth generation NGAD program, it is even more special. In this video, we're going to talk about the new F-22 Raptor, a legendary aircraft that has just emerged from a transformative upgrade, leaving the world astonished. From revolutionary coatings to state-of-the-art sensor systems, join us as we unravel the remarkable tale of how this iconic fighter jet continues to redefine air dominance. With the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD program, the United States has made a huge step forward in the field of flight, where new ideas are very important. The goal of this sixth-generation program is to shape the future of air superiority by making a variety of systems that make sure air superiority even in the most difficult operational situations. The NGAD program includes a highly adaptable manned fighter, a companion unmanned aircraft, and cutting-edge weapons, all of which are linked by a high-end networking architecture. The NGAD program pivots around the manned fighter. It can carry a wide range of weapons and sensors thanks to its flexible design. The fighter's stealthy design makes it difficult to spot by enemy radars. The manned fighter is likely to be a single seater with a wing and fuselage that are integrated into a single structure. A brand new engine is in the works to provide propulsion. Air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and electronic warfare devices will all be on board the fighter. The manned fighter is predicted to have cutting-edge sensors that give it a decisive edge over adversary planes. These sensors will include radar, infrared, and electronic warfare systems. The drones are meant to work in tandem with human pilots. They have many potential applications, including surveillance, EW, and attack missions. The stealthy design of the unmanned aircraft makes it tough for adversary radars to pick up. Small, nimble, and able to carry a wide range of payloads are all desirable qualities in the unmanned aircraft being designed for the NGAD program. They are also likely to have a variety of sensors that offer them an advantage against adversary planes. The NGAD program's weapons are still under development, but they are supposed to be very advanced. They might include hypersonic rockets, lasers, and weapons that use directed energy. Hypersonic missiles can move at speeds of at least Mach 5 or higher. Because of this, it is very hard to catch them. Lasers and directed energy weapons can send out powerful beams of energy that can disable or kill enemy aircraft. The NGAD program relies heavily on the interoperability of its various systems, which is made possible by the program's networking architecture. It will enable real-time data sharing between manned fighters, unmanned aircraft, and weapons, improving everyone's understanding of the battlefield. The Open Systems Architecture, OSA, serves as the foundation for the NGAD program's networking architecture. The Open System Interoperability, OSI framework, is a collection of rules for how computers should talk to one another. This will allow the NGAD systems to work together seamlessly, even if they are from different manufacturers. While the NGAD program is still in its infancy, its potential to transform air combat is clear. The United States will continue to enjoy air superiority for many years to come, thanks to this significant advancement in the design of sixth-generation aircraft. The NGAD program is a major investment in the future of air warfare. It is a sign that the United States is committed to maintaining its technological superiority in the air. The NGAD program is also a reminder that air power is still a vital part of modern warfare. An interesting thing about the NGAD program is that it brings in the F-22 Raptor. This famous fighter from the fifth generation, which is known for its unmatched abilities, is now playing a key role in shaping the technologies of the sixth generation. The goal of the NGAD program is to create a new age of warfare. Including the F-22 not only helps test and evaluate these new technologies, but also makes sure that they are kept secret. The F-22 Raptor is the first fighter plane in the world to be from the fifth generation. It was made to be quiet, easy to move around, and have a powerful set of sensors. 
The U.S. Air Force has been using the Raptor since 2005, and it has been used in battles in Iraq and Syria. In a number of ways, the F-22 Raptor is a key part of the NGAD effort. First, it is used to try and evaluate the new technologies that are being made for sixth-generation aircraft. This includes trying the new plane's ability to stay out of sight, as well as its ability to turn and its sensors. Second, the F-22 Raptor is being used to develop the networking architecture for the NGAD program. The networking architecture will allow the sixth-generation aircraft to share information in real time, giving them a shared situational awareness. Third, the F-22 Raptor is being used to train pilots who will fly the sixth-generation aircraft. The Raptor's flight characteristics are similar to those of the sixth-generation aircraft, so training on the Raptor will give pilots the skills they need to fly the new aircraft. The F-22 Raptor's incorporation into the Next Generation Air Defense NGAD program is a major step forward. In doing so, the U.S. Air Force demonstrates its dedication to and willingness to spend on researching and developing sixth-generation aircraft. The F-22 Raptor plays an important role in maintaining the secrecy of these game-changing innovations. The involvement of the Raptor, a highly classified aircraft in the NGAD program, will aid in maintaining the secrecy of the new technologies. While the NGAD program is still in its infancy, its potential to transform air combat is clear. The F-22 Raptor's presence shows that the United States Air Force is serious about preserving its technological edge in the skies. The F-22 Raptor is a powerful plane with a strong radar system, a range of air-to-air -air missiles, and the ability to fly at speeds of Mach 2.25 and altitudes of over 60,000 feet. It can also move quickly and make complicated moves in the air. The Raptor also has a set of electronic warfare tools that can interfere with enemy radars and communications. The F-22 Raptor is an extremely powerful plane and one of the world's most cutting-edge fighters. The NGAD program's incorporation of the F-35B is a major step forward, showing the U.S. Air Force's dedication to creating the next generation of air dominance fighters. The U.S. Air Force has made a strategy plan for this new way of putting things together. The F-22 Advanced Technology Development ATD program is a fast purchase structure that uses agile and efficient business practices. By using the F-22 as a stand-in, the NGAD program uses the existing technology. This speeds up the development, testing, and deployment of both hardware and software. The result is a group effort to shape the future where new threats, military goals, and the capacity of the development pipeline all come together. The goal of the F-22 ATD program, which is a fast acquisition structure, is to speed up the development of new technologies for the F-22 Raptor. The program uses business best practices, such as speed and efficiency, to reduce costs and cut the time it takes to build. The F-22 ATD program is being used as a stand-in for the sixth-generation airplane by the NGAD program so that new technologies can be tested and evaluated. This means that the NGAD program can use the technology and facilities that are already in place for the F-22 program. This saves time and money. The F-22's usage as a surrogate is a key enabler for the NGAD program. It enables the program to accelerate the development of new technologies and place them in the hands of pilots as soon as possible. This is critical for remaining competitive and retaining air superiority in the future. The NGAD program is a joint effort of the Air Force, industry, and academia. The initiative is attempting to bring together the brightest minds on the planet in order to produce the next generation of air dominance aircraft. The NGAD program also takes a comprehensive strategy to air dominance. The program is focused not only on producing new aircraft, but also on developing new technologies and operational concepts. The initiative is attempting to develop a system of systems that will provide the Air Force with an advantage in future conflicts. The NGAD program is a massive project, but it is critical for air superiority in the future. The program is working to create the technologies and concepts that will allow the Air Force to maintain its air superiority for decades to come.
The F-22 ATD program uses agile development and continuous integration and delivery to save development time and cost. Its advanced technology development program involves testing stealth materials, upgraded sensors, and directed energy weaponry for the NGAD program. Additionally, the NGAD program is also developing new activities, such as using unmanned aircraft to help human fighters. The huge NGAD program is vital for future air superiority. The program is developing technology and ideas to help the Air Force maintain its air superiority. As part of the F-22's change, a number of secret upgrades have been added that make the fighter even more powerful than it already was. Among these changes, a new covering that looks like metal stands out. When this new covering is put on an airplane, it helps in two ways. It makes the Raptor less noticeable in the infrared spectrum, making it harder for radar to find. At the same time, it improves its stealth powers, making the world's first stealth fighter even more stealthy. Metamaterials are what are used to make the new layer. Metamaterials are made of things that don't exist in nature and have qualities that can't be found in nature. In the case of the F-22's covering, the metamaterials are made to absorb infrared radiation, which is the type of radiation that hot things give off. This makes it harder for infrared devices to pick up on the Raptor. The Raptor's stealth capabilities will be enhanced by the new coating as well, as it will be less reflective to radar. To do this, the interaction between radar waves and the aircraft's surface is disrupted. These two factors together make it even harder for infrared and radar sensors to spot the Raptor. The Raptor has a distinct edge over hostile planes because of this, because they are harder to locate and shoot down. The F-22 has received a number of stealthy modifications, including new paint and better electronics for its missiles and flight controls. These enhancements increase the Raptor's effectiveness and versatility. With its stealth enhancements, the F-22 Raptor has become one of the most formidable fighters in the world. These enhancements will keep the Raptor at the top of its game for years to come. The F-22 Raptor is one of the most advanced fighters in the world, and its covert upgrades make it even more formidable. These upgrades ensure that the Raptor will remain a dominant force in the air for many years to come. With its infrared search and track IARST systems, the F-22 Raptor also uses cutting-edge detection technology. These devices are made to find and follow both stealthy and non-stealthy planes from a long way off. One of the most important benefits of these IARST systems is that they can't be affected by electronic warfare. This makes them a powerful tool for the Raptor to keep situational awareness and air control even in the most difficult situations. An IARST system is a sensor that can identify and follow infrared-emitting targets. Aircraft, weapons, and humans all contribute to this radiation since they are warmer than their surroundings. When it comes to radiation, IARST systems are passive detectors. This makes them excellent for use in electronic warfare settings, where they are difficult to identify and jam. IARST systems can also identify stealthy airplanes with great success. To avoid detection by enemy radar systems, stealth aircraft are built to deflect radar signals in the other direction. They are unable to conceal their infrared signature, though. That's why IRS devices are so helpful for spy plane monitoring. The F-22 Raptor has an infrared search and track RS system installed in the front of the plane. Aircraft up to 100 miles away can be spotted and followed by the IRST system. The F-22 Raptor's IRST system can follow several targets at once. The Raptor can keep track of the battlefield and attack from different angles because of this. The use of IRST systems is becoming increasingly important in today's battlefield. Aircraft are becoming more and more difficult to detect and track, forcing the use of IRST systems. The use of IRST equipment in electronic warfare settings is also on the rise. Radars are generally unreliable under these conditions due to being spoofed or jammed. IRST systems are effective in sustaining situational awareness and air supremacy since they are immune to electronic warfare. The F-22 Raptor's IRST system is a cutting-edge piece of equipment that offers it a decisive edge over adversary planes. The IRST system is an invaluable asset in modern combat due to its capacity to detect and track stealthy and non-stealthy aircraft and its resistance to electronic warfare. To address its range limitations, the F-22 Raptor is undergoing a significant transformation in the form of the Long Drag Tank and Pylon, LDTP, capability. 
This advanced fuel tank arrangement offers reduced drag, increased range, and improved sustained supersonic flight. With its ejection capabilities and enhanced aerodynamics, the LDTP design empowers the Raptor to remain a formidable presence in the skies, ensuring it remains lethal throughout every mission. The LDTP is a new fuel tank system that is being developed for the F-22 Raptor. The LDTP consists of a long, slender tank that is mounted on a pylon under the aircraft's fuselage. The tank is made of lightweight material and is designed to reduce drag. The LDTP offers a number of advantages over the current fuel tanks that are used on the F-22 Raptor. First, the LDTP provides the Raptor with a significant increase in range. The LDTP can carry an additional 1,800 gallons of fuel, which gives the Raptor a range of over 2,000 miles. This allows the Raptor to fly farther and stay in the air longer, which is essential for missions that require long-range strikes or air superiority. Second, the LDTP makes it possible for the Raptor to reach speeds greater than the speed of sound. The Raptor can reach supersonic speeds with greater speed and efficiency thanks to the LDTP's ability to reduce drag. This is crucial for missions that call for the Raptor to engage in air-to-ground strikes or the interception of adversary aircraft. Third, in the event of an emergency, the LDTP can be expelled. The LDTP has a parachute so that it may land far away from the plane if necessary. This is vital for the pilots and the plane's security in the case of a crash. While the LDTP is still in the works, its potential to enhance the F-22 Raptor's capabilities is clear. The Raptor's range, speed, and ability to stay alive in the face of enemy fire will all be boosted thanks to the LDTP. As a result, the Raptor will be a much more powerful and flexible aircraft, suitable for a larger variety of roles. The F-22 Raptor's upgrade journey is highlighted by its armament as well. A new missile, unlike any seen before in the U.S. inventory, has made its debut alongside the Raptor. This missile, believed to be the AIM-260 Long Range Joint Advanced Tactical Missile JTM, offers beyond visual range capabilities and aims to counter emerging threats from adversaries. With its incorporation, the F-22 continues to evolve, showcasing its adaptability and readiness to face the future of aerial warfare. The AIM-260 JTM is a long-range air-to-air missile that is designed to replace the AIM-120 AMRAAM. The AIM-260 is expected to have a range of over 100 miles, which is significantly longer than the AIM-120. The AIM-260 is also expected to be more maneuverable, and have a better electronic warfare EW suite than the AIM-120. The AIM-260 JTM is still in development, but it is expected to enter service in the early 2030s. The AIM-260 will be a major upgrade for the F-22 Raptor, giving it the ability to engage enemy aircraft at longer ranges and with greater precision. The story of the F-22 Raptor has been nothing but revolutionary. From the start, it broke the rules by combining stealth, speed, agility, and situational awareness in a way that set a new standard for dominating the air. With the Raptor's help in making the next wave of fighter technologies, this history has been carefully kept alive. Even though it is getting close to being taken out of service, the F-22 Raptor is still a shining example of what a fighter can do when it is truly ahead of its time. There's more to the F-22 Raptor than meets the eye. Its history is one of technological innovation, strategic insight, and an unyielding dedication to air superiority. The United States' commitment to innovation is reflected in the program's development from a fifth-generation marvel to a key component of the sixth-generation NGAD initiative. Even as the F-22 Raptor fades into oblivion, it will have a lasting impact on aerial combat for decades to come. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.